Now, throughout this chapter of consolidated financial statements, we will be using some terms which will be used in relation to consolidation of financial statements. So I thought, why not to prepare a small slide and you know give you some sense around it as to what do these terms means. The first term is parent. And normally, uh, let me just use a wider width maybe. Okay. Normally, as I showed to you on the previous slide as well, the structure looks something like this. You will have holding company, you will have subsidiary 1 and subsidiary 2. Right? This company will own, let's say, 70% in this and 80% in this. Now, with reference to this, let's see each of these terms. Parent means a company which has one or more subsidiaries. So, this company H will be known as the parent company. Why? Because it has subsidiary 1, subsidiary 2, where it owns 70% and 80% respectively. Right? Second, subsidiary. Subsidiary means an enterprise which is controlled. Again, the word controlled by another enterprise. So these two companies which are there, let me use a different color here. These two companies which are being controlled by H or the parent company are known as subsidiaries. Right? Subsidiary 1, subsidiary 2. Again, this ownership would amount to control how we will see when we look at this particular topic. Group. Group means parent and all its subsidiaries. Now if I draw a larger box here, okay, this entire blue box represents the group. Why? Because this comprises of H which is the holding company and then the two subsidiaries. So the group means parent which is H and all its subsidiaries. If there are other subsidiaries as well, S3, S4 and everything, then this blue line will expand accordingly. Right? And consolidated financial statements are the financial statements of a group presented as those of a single enterprise. What does this mean? This means that basically if I were to prepare one single set of financial statement, right, of H, which is the parent company, where I merge the accounts of S1, S2, S3 and so on, these accounts so prepared are known as consolidated financial statements. Right? So these are prepared as if this entire group including H, S, S2, S3 is a single enterprise. I told you earlier also and I'm telling you again also that both H, S1, S2 and S3 are in any case going to prepare their individual financial statements. The consolidated financial statements are prepared in addition to these statements. And consolidated financial statements are prepared for the holding company only. So you have individual statements for this, individual for this, individual for this, individual for this and consolidated for the entire group. Right? 